in our get guide sections. The users can sign up and receive an email with a free trading guide. What happens is the users enter their name and their email address and this into this form here and this form will then be submitted to MailChimp. MailChimp will then email the users, send an, an email with a link to this free guide. However, this email will be sent from the email address with which you signed up to MailChimp. And I assume this is not an email which is related to the domain we just bought. So let's set up MailChimp that the email from which it will be sent is dan at surfandtrade.com and not the email with which I signed up to MailChimp. In order to do that, let's first swap over to Namecheap and manage some of the domain settings. In Namecheap, make sure that you swap back to the normal domain settings, not advanced DNS, and then scroll down a bit until you find this redirect email section. Now this redirect email section allows us to set up email redirections and it's for free again with Namecheap, which another reason why I like Namecheap over other hosting or registers. For this feature, you might have to pay with other registers at Namecheap, it comes for free. And it allows you to set up an alias and then a forwarding address. So where, imagine, for example, if I set up, if I want to set up an inf email, info at surfandtrade.com, all I would have to enter here is info and then where this email should be redirected to. Now you have two options. Either you enter the alias like info, or as I did here already, Dan, or you can select this catch all and that means anything goes and anything will be redirected to your email. So that's also handy in case somebody tries to email you under your domain and you haven't set it up properly, then at least this email will be not lost and you will receive it. Um, I added this then at surfandtrade.com and then hit this save button. Now I did this already because it can take up, an, up to an hour or even longer for Namecheap to set up this email redirection properly. And in order to save some time, I did this. So if you do that, you might have to wait for an hour or longer before you can do the next step. Now in order to connect that to Mailchimp, let's swap over to our Mailchimp dashboard. And this is our my normal dashboard. And I'm going to select brands in a navigation bar. And here I go to manage domains. And now let's select verify domain. And I am going to enter this email address. All right, let's check. Let me check my emails and then get the verification code. It took quite a while for the email to arrive. However, I managed to verify my domain name with the name cheap email forwarding. It can take some time. Um, if you don't get an email, make sure that the email is actually working. Send an email to your email address, the one you entered into MailChimp and check if Namecheap forwards you that email. This email forwarding is free, so you got to give it some time to forward everything. However, my email arrived. I found it in a spam folder. You might need to look there as well for you, depending on what email provider you have. Now with this email verified, let's set it up so that once a user signs up to our free guide that they actually receive an email sent from dan at surfandtrade.com. And in order to do that, I am going to select audience in the top and then I'm going to go to manage audience settings 
and choose the first one audience and name defaults and here in the settings we want to scroll down a bit and go to the campaign default settings and here in the default from email address enter your email address the one you just verified so I have already done that then at surfandtrade.com and from now on emails should be sent from then at surfandtrade.com and not from my private email address like it used to be before now with our form set up and the emails being sent from the address we just created let's go back to the domain settings on MailChimp and what we want to do is we want to MailChimp has some more authentication methods which we can use to further verify the ownership of our domain and that increases our likelihood of the email reaching the final inbox and not landing in spam or other inboxes and for that I'm going to choose authenticate uh, for that I went back in brand manage domains and here is my domain surfandtrade.com I'm going to authenticate it and as you can see there are some more values which you can copy over to Namecheap the first thing is we should create a CNAME record for k1 dot underscore domain key dot surfandtrade.com and in order to create that let me copy this first part k1 dot underscore domain key that's all I care about ignore the dot surfandtrade.com you only want to copy this k1 dot underscore domain key and with that let's swap back to Namecheap and in Namecheap make sure we go back to advanced DNS and in advanced DNS let's add another record I'm gonna choose CNAME record and where it says host I'm gonna copy in this k1 dot underscore domain key and let's go back to MailChimp and copy this dk dkim dot mcsv dot net and copy that into the target now let's hit save change and do the same thing for this text record so create a text record for surfandtrade.com with v equals whatever let's copy all of that add a new record text record we'll copy this all in and set the host to add hit save and with this done it again might take a while for it to be distributed across the internet and to MailChimp let's see what MailChimp can already authenticate there we go it all worked our domain name is now fully authenticated with MailChimp and that should certainly help our delivery success in sending out emails to users now users these days get a lot of emails and that's why a lot of email providers tend to filter out emails like the one we sent from MailChimp and they either go into spam or into other inboxes or whatever and authentication helps just increase our chances even just a tiny bit uh, and we might be lucky in delivering that email properly so it's definitely a move I highly recommend you to do with our domain properly authenticated let's go hit campaigns and there we need to still change the from email address currently we have created a campaign for users once they sign up get sign up guide and in with which we send our free guide however in the settings we still have the old email address with which we originally set that campaign up so I'm gonna hit edit 
and then let's edit this email address. Pause and edit. We need to pause the campaign. And let's now edit from, I'm going to change this email address to um, And then let's hit resume sending. And now with this done, the only thing left for us to do is actually test the new signup form and test if everything is working properly. All right, let's test if everything is working. I'm back at the signup form. Let me and sign up again. And let's see if we receive an email from dan at surfandtrade.com. There we go. For me, it worked. Uh, I received an email from dan at surfandtrade.com. And also this email did not end up in spam anymore like some previous emails did under my private email address, the one we used before. Now this went straight to my inbox and it works beautifully. So that completes the setup of MailChimp using our own domain. And if you now want to send out an email newsletter under your newly bought domain, that should also be possible. You can easily send out an email newsletter to all the people who subscribe on your website using the form we created.